In this video, we're gonna see what happens when you leave a Damascus blade in acid for over two and a half years. It was only supposed to be one week, but life happened and we forgot about it, so now we're finally gonna see what happened. So let's take a trip back in time to February 14th, 2020. I need some Damascus for this test, so I'm gonna use an old blade laying around. This blade was supposed to be my first ever knife as a journeyman, but I messed up on one of the forge welds and had to completely scrap it. I think it'll work great for this test, so I break it into three pieces and grind the outside clean so we can see how it etches. This is the reason I had to originally scrap this blade because there's a forge weld right here that didn't take. So after that, I did some weird experiments with water hardening and everything and really messed this blade up. We're gonna get our solutions ready for the different blades. We've got Nescafe Dark Roast and I'm gonna mix that up the same way that I do when I coffee darken my blades with a little bit of water. We've got our ferric chloride. I'm gonna mix that up the same way I etch my blades. Then we've got our muriatic acid and that one I'm gonna use straight and it's just for fun. Coffee break. Oh, I can smell it from over here. Oh, coffee concentrate. Extreme 1000. Nest Cafe, sign us up. We'll sell this stuff for you, but we probably won't recommend people drinking it. So I don't know how that'll work. I'm gonna mix this up, get this coffee dissolved into the water. Now I'll dump the ferric chloride in here. I don't wanna pour the muriatic acid on the workbench because that stuff's nasty. So we'll pour it down on the ground. All right, for the muriatic acid, we are using uh, the safer version, which has 90% less fumes. That way we don't have to worry about breathing it, or at least it's only 10% risk of breathing it instead of 100%. Let's put our three part blade into our different mediums. We've got our tip section of the blade in the instant coffee mix. We're gonna put the middle section of the blade in the ferric chloride mix. And then we're gonna put our tang and base ricasso section of the blade into the hydrochloric acid. Muriatic acid, rather. Accidentally. The original plan was to leave our Damascus pieces submerged in the ferric chloride, the coffee, and the muriatic acid for one week. Life got out of hand and time's flown by and it's actually been over two and a half years now. Let's take a look, they're down here. Underneath this milk crate, two and a half years later. Oh man, look at that. Here's our coffee one, completely dried out. The ferric chloride, oh wow, there's still liquid there. But it's like crusty, we've got the muriatic acid. Oh, it's still kind of liquidy too. Crusty, liquidy, gooey goop. Let's see if we can clean these Damascus knife pieces up and see what happened. I'm outside so we can rinse off the pieces. I've got a garden hose here. Let's start with our piece that was submerged in the coffee solution. Oh, wow, look at that. It's like coffee obsidian. Oh, look at that. There's our Damascus piece. I think it's got some rust on it. I don't think it actually got two and a half years of uh, good solid etching in the coffee because at some point, probably pretty early on, the coffee just completely dried out. Being submerged in the coffee, it actually did etch it. There's a lot of rust and other stuff on top of it too. I wonder what it would look like if I wire wheeled it off. Here's the Damascus piece after hosing it down and running it over the wire wheel for a little bit just to clean it up. It actually looks really cool. It etched the Damascus really, really deep. And the piece actually looks pretty chatoyant when I move it around in the light. Let's go find out what the other two pieces look like. Next up, let's look at the blade piece that's in the ferric chloride. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is some gooey, nasty stuff. There's liquid down in there. I wonder if anything will be left. Oh, oh, we got something that's kind of blade shaped. Let's rinse it off. Oh, wow. It's covered with like a really thick, crusty layer of gunk. Oh, whoa, there is Damascus pattern under there though. Actually etched Damascus pattern still. Wow, I can't wait to see what this one looks like when we wire wheel it a little bit. 
Looks like a buried piece of pirate treasure. It's been in the ocean for like a hundred years. Real quick, if you wanna learn how I went from chasing goats to making knives, then sign up for our monthly newsletter, Hot Off the Press. This piece that was left in the ferric chloride solution is absolutely incredible. It's got such a deep, deep etch going on on it. And the center of each of the four twisted bars kind of has this high ridge going on. The spine looks super cool, super deep etch. Even the backside that was up against the uh, container looks really cool. The areas that were touching the container, they kind of didn't etch there as much. And then the areas where the uh, ferric chloride was able to work its way under better, etched super deep, like on this first side. Let's go check out our final piece, the one that was left in the muriatic acid for two and a half years. Our muriatic acid piece has all sorts of crusty crud on top of it. Oh, wow. Oh, that stuff's weird feeling. It's still got liquid down in there. Oh, oh, we've got some sort of blade piece left. Wow, look at the tang right here, it's tiny. It's almost etched all the way through. Whoa, oh, oh no. I think that's part of the blade. It just broke right off. Oh, I showed you the blade had a crack in it right there. I bet that's that little tiny bad forge weld. I think it is, let's get this cleaned up. Look at that. The muriatic acid ate through it so much. The tang is almost completely eaten through right here. And back right here where I showed I had a bad forge weld, the piece completely ate all the way through that forge weld and the piece just completely fell off. There's also a hole right here all the way through the blade. Take a look at this. The muriatic acid did a real number on the piece. This part here with the bad forge welds completely separated from the rest of it. The tang is just like paper thin right here, almost etched all the way through. There's a deep pit going all the way through right there. It etched in really deep here and did some weird stuff. This thing looks really incredible, like a piece of pirate's treasure that was buried for 200 years instead of one. I can see a tiny, tiny little bit of my maker's mark right there, just the E and the R, ever so faintly. I think this is super cool looking. I thought the muriatic acid and the ferric chloride might possibly either eat the pieces completely away till there's nothing left, or maybe not etch them very deep at all. We got something kind of in the middle. They both etched pretty deep, but didn't completely dissolve away the pieces. I love the textures they left on there. My favorite piece is definitely the one that was left in ferric chloride. The texture and patterning on it is so cool looking. Absolutely amazing. I think I'm gonna put these pieces up on my shelves. They're definitely something to uh, have a conversation about with friends. I will see you in the next video. May the forge be with you. Bye-bye. Check out this video if you wanna see me review and absolutely destroy a $25 Damascus knife.